You don't have to be an environmentalist to see that the world, America, and Pennsylvania are decarbonizing, not just because of the harm climate change may inflict, but because clean energy is less polluting and can reduce the cost of electricity, of owning and operating cars, and even the cost to heat our homes and buildings. That's important because we want to decarbonize in the way that does the best job of cutting emissions that costs the least and creates the most jobs. Not just in cities, but in rural Pennsylvania, which is suffering huge job and population losses. That's why the Ohio River Valley Institute commissioned the analytics firm Stratagen to create a new report describing what a clean energy decarbonization pathway could look like for southwestern Pennsylvania. Over a 25-year period, most cars and many trucks and buses would become electric. Three-quarters of the region's electricity would be generated by wind and solar, along with some nuclear and natural gas. Most steel and cement plants would transition to hydrogen-based processes. And homes and buildings would get energy efficiency upgrades, added insulation, new doors and windows, and they'd be heated electrically, not by gas. The impacts of these changes are stunning. We would save over $400 million a year compared to what it will cost if we try to decarbonize while continuing to rely on coal and gas. We would do our part in the world's effort to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. We'd slash our often worst in the nation air pollution that causes elevated levels of cancer and asthma. And we would generate new business for contractors and create over 15,000 new jobs in the building trades and other economic sectors. We're presenting this clean energy decarbonization pathway at a time when some Pennsylvania politicians are promoting what they call a hydrogen hub, which doesn't even have much to do with hydrogen. It's more about preserving coal and gas power plants, and most of all, expanding natural gas extraction. It's a dirty energy pathway that's only partially effective and incredibly expensive. Development of a hydrogen hub would not only greatly increase fracking, it would also require the construction of thousands of miles of pipelines to transport and bury carbon underground. But how effective would this dirty energy pathway be in meeting our goals? It would double the cost of generating electricity in gas power plants and triple the cost in coal plants. That's about $2,500 every year for every household in Western Pennsylvania, which we and other Americans would pay through higher taxes and utility bills. It wouldn't create many jobs. Rural natural gas counties in Pennsylvania have suffered nine straight years of job losses and 11 straight years of population losses. And even though the dirty energy pathway would require thousands of miles of pipelines, requiring takings by eminent domain, it wouldn't even do a very good job of cutting emissions, up to a quarter of which it would miss altogether. Pennsylvania needs to pursue a clean energy decarbonization pathway that's more effective, costs less, and creates more jobs. To learn more and see how the clean energy decarbonization pathway is the best choice for southwestern Pennsylvania, visit OhioRiverValleyInstitute.org.